Hi, my name is Julia and I'm a homeschool mom of two. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at just three out of the hundreds of language arts lessons available for Time for Learning middle schoolers. The first lesson we will be looking at comes from the Language Skills chapter in sixth grade. Like most of the lessons, this one begins with a short introduction to the topic. Have you ever heard someone say, my friends and me are going to shoot some baskets? Did that sound wrong to you? It should have. Not that there's anything wrong with shooting baskets. It's the pronoun that's all wrong. The right way to say that is, my friends and I are going to shoot some baskets. Let's skip ahead to the recap at the end of the lesson. Good job learning how to use subjective, objective, and possessive pronouns. Let's recap what you learned. The conclusion summarizes and reinforces the information that was presented in this lesson. And possessive pronouns. You learned how to use subjective pronouns to replace subject nouns. Upon completion of a lesson, there is often a quiz available to the student. These are optional and may or may not be utilized according to your teaching style. Let's move on to another middle school language arts lesson. This lesson helps students identify and analyze the author's use of idioms based on the context of a passage and how these expressions are used in literal and interpretive information. Picture this. Jack says, we have to start over. If you replaced the words, we have to start over with an idiom, what might you say? We should be finished. We have to start again. We'll do something else. What do we do? We're back to square one. If your student is not familiar with idioms, they can choose the answer, what does idiom mean? What is the meaning of idiom? Let me have my friend Rita explain. Let's just flip on the old time word show for a little bit of help. Hey there, thanks for coming to the old time word show. I have some great guests today. Let's get started. What's up? Bring anything for us to look at? Well, I got this word in the mail earlier today, and since then, nothing has made any sense. See, when I asked my mom if I could talk to her, she said she was all ears. And I just, just the thought of my mom becoming a pile of ears was so scary. I... Time for Learning Lessons use a variety of teaching styles to keep things fresh and diverse. I love the way this lesson uses fun animation and humor to make the subject matter engaging and informative. It also features multiple choice questions throughout to ensure that your student is following along and grasping the concepts. Mm-hmm. Try to spell the word even though you don't know how. This lesson also features a quiz related to the material that your student may or may not complete according to your teaching style. In the dark! Exactly. Hey, Fast Sammy, the person who ordered those hundred burritos, was it Vern? Wow! Let's go ahead and take a look at the final lesson featured in this video. Think about an event in your life that you'll never forget. This lesson includes instruction, practice, and assessment on learning how to write narratives using effective techniques, descriptive details, and well-structured plots. It also teaches students how to provide a logical and effective conclusion. Let's take a look at a section later in the lesson. Hi. You already know a narrative is a story, an account of related events arranged in a logic. Here is a good example of a real person providing instruction for the student. Factual or both. You also know that a well-written narrative has the elements of plot, characters, setting, atmosphere, point of view, and conflict. This concludes the middle school language arts demonstration. Please choose another subject, or if you'd like to learn more about how Time for Learning works, take a look at the tour video. Goodbye.